Hey gamers, this is a concise yet comprehensive review of the newest long-awaited installation in the Fear series, Fear Online. This game is praised by many on Steam. A lot of people play it because it's a, it's a great game. It's a great game. So, as you can see here, uh, you got the equip button, you got the store button, you got the craft button, all that stuff up there. It's, it's not pay to win, it's just a future. So uh, let's let's get into some of the gameplay. I'm going to show you what it's all about. So David, oh, it's full. Nice. It's a popular game. What do you expect? It's a good game. All right. Let's see here. How about a uh, get a death match? Just Magneto 500. Fuck off, dude. Uh, come on. All right. That's good. All right. So let's start the game. If you've ever played any of the Fear games, they're a lot of a lot of fun. So I, I really, you know, I want, I want to see how this. Oh, eliminate the threat. Eliminate the threat. What was that? I don't know what that was, but uh, all right. So let's uh, let's get going here. So I, I'm looks like my character's ice skating or something. It's like I, it must be some of the DLC I bought. So anyway, uh. Let's just find an enemy here to eliminate. Oh wow, I guess I have the M41A upgrade too. That's pretty cool. So, looking at the gameplay right now, you have the map, and it's uh, it's really colorful. Not a lot of brown and bloom here. It's uh, really detailed. Got a lot of boxes, got a lot of corridors. I'm really feeling it. Amazing. So, ooh, amazing multi-kill. Did you see that? I saw that. Hmm. You know, I, this, this this looks pretty innovative. I've never really seen this done before. Well, the only problem I'm having right now is just, you know, I'm not killing people fast enough. So, you know, I wonder if I can, like... What if there's any DLC in this game that'll help me kill faster? I don't know. Let me, let me see here. Well, I died, but I mean, uh... Alright, let's see. Oh, it looks like... I don't know what's going on here, but... Alright. Oh. This is pretty trippy. Is this a... Uh, whoa, look at that! Look at those knife kills. Wow. I didn't know you could pay for this. This is pretty neat. Yeah, I should be on the top of the leaderboard sometime soon. Yeah, this is pretty unbelievable. I agree with the announcer. Barbaric. Well, I agree. This is very barbaric. I'm killing a lot of people with knives. It's pretty barbaric, if you ask me. So, well, what I can see from the gameplay right now is uh, it's it's what I like to call a uh, a sensory shooter. You know, you just kind of you kind of look at it, you feel it, and then you kind of respond by you know using a knife for shooting somebody, etc, etc. So, yeah, for a sensory shooter, this is pretty good. Um, the gameplay, it's, it's alright. Uh, the sound, I, I think the sound clips are pretty good. The video quality is alright, so there are these black bars for some reason, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, the game seems a bit pay to win, because, you know, I'm just doing this and I, I just kind of paid for it. So, uh... Yeah. For a fear game, I'm not really feeling scared right now. I don't really feel threatened when the entire enemy team is right in front of me. So, I'm, I mean, is this really a fear game? Or is this just a free-to-play game with fear slapped on it? Because it feels like that. So, to people who support this game and think it's a good game, my question for you is... Are you gay? 